Hello YouTube, Terrell here with Big Time Nice here for The Last of Us uh, Season 1, Episode 9 uh, The last episode uh, of uh, the season And um, you know, it's been a great season so far uh, Like I said, a bit rushed But um, that's because, you know, obviously I played the game and everything There's more stuff I wanted to cover But from their perspective I don't think they knew it was going to be such a big hit um, and they were probably skeptical uh, skeptical of how you know how much to uh, uh, put in the season and don't want to drag it out like The Walking Dead so here it is but, um, but I'm thankful for what we have this is the pretty much the best video game adaptation I have seen like nothing else is coming to mind at the moment and uh and judging by how good this is um and uh it could lead to more stories being adapted and yeah i'm looking forward to that uh very much so and leave it to hbo to be the ones to do that <laughs> uh trust in hbo you know um but yeah uh, a lot you know with this last episode we'll see how it goes but you know um i'll be fine either way and and they have to really mess up everything for me to uh you know not appreciate it and and, and grade the whole season you know uh badly um if you know this episode doesn't do so well or or i don't like it it will take a lot <laughs> Um, but so far, so good. We're just gonna roll with it and see what happens. All right, guys. So give me a like, give me a subscribe, uh, comment below what you think about this episode, what you think about this season, what you think about this adaptation. You know, uh, <laughs> I did a video on adaptations and everything. So uh, I think video games are the the next ones. Like just like superhero movies, video games are the next next. Uh, arena to tackle for adaptations and then after that will be anime but i think anime is still kind of rough and and hard to adapt at this moment but uh but right now video games let's, let's just roll with that there's some cool stories out there but anyways we're just gonna get right into it guys here we go okay no intro music we're going right into it Oh, this lady, this is the the woman who actually voice acted um, Ellie in the game. Okay, she got a, a role here. Let's, 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 let's go. <laughs> it's me. She even sounds like Ellie in the game. I wonder if this is going to be like Ellie's mom. She sounds, she sounds just like in the game, man. That's crazy. I thought she was gonna change her voice a little, like Joel, the um, the character who, the guy who played Joel, did. Man, this sucks. You're, you're about to give birth, and you're gonna have to do it on your own. This probably is going to explain why Ellie is immune. Yeah, Ellie's part in infected, born with it. I don't think they explained that in the games. It was always kind of a mystery. Huh. You gotta realize that you're probably going to turn. And so you gotta 
I don't know, man. What are you going to do with your baby? Like, you're going to turn. Okay, she named her Ellie right here. So someone must find her while she's still sane to, so that, that she can tell them she named her Ellie. Or she must leave some message. I, I don't know. There's a, yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. Um, someone, yeah, like I was saying, someone must find her while she's still sane. And so she could let them know that she's naming the child Ellie. And um, the way Ellie is immune seems very unique like the host needs like the pre the host needs to be pregnant and and infected or recently infected while giving birth at the same time or <laughs> um yeah those are very unique uh factors and I don't know if you could replicate something like that you can't really so, yeah, Ellie might just be unique. I thought it was going to be more, but nope, she's just very unique. <laughs> doing very good job, man. She's doing a very good job, man. Very emotional. I can't kill you. <laughs> no, please. Please. Someone else will. Someone else will. Top of her head looked looked infected. <laughs> Cover her tears. Ellie, you hear me? No. What? Well, I found this in there. Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. <laughs> what a prize! Nice. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Cut through that building to get around that stuff, find a skyscraper, go up in the craft. Uh, actually, this time I was thinking we'd blast our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that RV back there. Really? No, so we're going to cut through that building, find a skyscraper, go up and look around. Where had you go, didn't it? Ellie seems very bothered. I I understand of the last events, but I wonder how long it's been since those events took place. Terry drops bombs. Now one of them hits the building we're trying to demolish. Like her scar on her head has like kind of uh, healed up a little bit. So it's been a little bit of time. One, two, up. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they they climbed like everything like that about that was just like the game. Even like small details like this, man, I, I love it. Whoa. Damn, Ellie, <laughs> that could that could have fell on Joel's head. I hate when they make so much noise in this, like in these types of worlds. Um, like there, there's, there could be clickers and stuff around. You just gotta be careful. And giraffes are cool. <laughs> Actually, never really seen a giraffe tongue. <laughs> Relic of a dinosaur, basically.
Like I always say, the detail is amazing. Like the work they put in to, to make everything look like it's actually been around for decades. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty cool, man. Too soon? No, it's topical. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Moon rocks taste better than earth rocks. Why? Is there meteor? That's terrible. Oh, that's good a, you. That, that was actually good. That's a zero out of all right, ten. All right. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? What do you think, what do you think? That's a three out of ten. Seven. I'll give it a five. Damn. They just come out firing, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Concussion grenade. Better safe than sorry. Okay, uh, concussion on top of a concussion grenade. He's gonna remove it from her, multiply the cells in the lab, produce those chemical messengers, and then we can give it to everyone. He thinks it could be a cure, Joel. A cure. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. That's pretty big news, man. Man, Joel's cold, man. Dude, Joel, Joel's taking no chances, but he's merciless. He really is. You can't really, even if they surrender, it's like you don't have time to like tie them up or anything just in case they try something. So you just, the easiest and quickest option is just to kill them, unfortunately. Joe's fucking Rambo. He was in the game in this section. People might have a problem with that because it's like all this. I mean, we've seen his destructiveness throughout the series, but like he went up against everyone. But that's that's how it is, man. It's, I don't know. He's very experienced and capable at what he does. <laughs> unhook her. How did you get in here? I said unhook her. I won't let you take her. Unhook her. <laughs> Cover her up. Fast. This is pure selfishness from him. You know, he, he doesn't want to lose another daughter, but damn, man, like at the cost of finding a cure for the, the whole planet. But uh, who knows if the cure would have worked? Maybe not, and Ellie would be dead. But damn, like, is that a chance you're willing to take? He is. Maybe we'll find another way, but I don't know. <laughs> Like, uh, damn. What? It's all right. You're with me. Take it slow. The drugs are still wearing off. I was with the firefighters and you blame me. What drugs? You ever run some tests on you? And some others. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. I wouldn't put my gun down when they're around Joel. This guy is just ruthless. <laughs> the doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. They've actually 
they've stopped looking for a cure. He's got time to sit and drive and, and think about what he's going to say to Ellie. fucking ruthless man he is ruthless you gotta be ruthless to survive in this world but damn man like like humanity is struggling man humanity needs a win and there was potential to get them a win right there but you know i was gonna say i understand you know saving a child but i don't understand i i don't have any kids so i can't relate well, she got us close enough. But then again, Ellie's not your child, and it seems like you're using her to replace your lost child, or that feeling of having a child. When I got bit in the mall, I wasn't on my own. My best friend was there, and she got bit too. We didn't know what to do, and she says, can just wait it out. Being poetic and just lose our minds together. And then she did. And I had to. Her name was Riley. And she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. But Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. You can feel like, like you've come to an end. You don't know what to do next. But if you just keep going, you find something new to fight for. And maybe that's not what you need. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. Yep, Ellie knows he's lying. <laughs> Man, I don't know. It's a hard spot for Joel to be in for both of you. Shoot. Uh, that was probably the shortest episode of the season, but I feel like they wrapped up everything pretty nicely and covered everything that was important. Um, hit on the right beats. Uh, everything from the game was the same. Um, yeah, I can't really think of what they didn't hit. So maybe it was a lot more, you know, not as much content as I, as I remembered in the game. You do kill a lot, spending a lot of, like, in the game, this was very action-oriented. Um, uh, so... You saw that in this episode. They kind of go through it with the muted action scenes. Um, and so maybe that's why I felt like it was a longer. Um, I do believe that like the last kind of arc with um, like the, the cannibals and stuff like that, that probably could have been a two-parter episode. Um, so that, that definitely felt quick. But this one actually felt fine uh, even with the length uh, so hey I'm happy with this series so far I'm very interested in what they're gonna do in the follow-up season season two um, the second game I had my issues with it but the story for the most part uh, I just hope that they do things in a different order in the uh, in the second season compared to the game like that that was kind of my only issues like technically the game was outstanding technically um, but the story should have been told in a different order in a different way um, 
I'm fine with all the 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 plot of the story and everything, but just a different way of uh, order to what how things happen. I think that would serve it best. Um, so interested in, to see what they do with that. But anyways, yeah, this is the best video game adaptation so far, you know, without a doubt. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for uh, uh, watching this, uh, watching me react to it, uh, coming along on this journey. It's been very fun. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what's next, you know. Um, uh, I'm gonna finish the Sandman, gonna um, continue Buffy and Angel, uh, Entourage, and uh, who knows what else, you know. <laughs> but uh, it's, been, it's been cool, guys. Uh, like, comment below what you think, and uh, subscribe. Give me a subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, Big Time Nice out.